Valerie's New York. New York City is the place where they said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Valerie's New York. Valerie's New York. Hello and welcome to another edition of Valerie's New York. I'm Valerie Smaldone. When you think about New York City, you think about the rich, wonderful neighborhoods with all of the intricate people that live there and the wonderful architecture. And what comes to mind for me is the neighborhood of Harlem. Music, culture, food, entertainment, beautiful buildings, and a wonderful time in history was in the 1950s and 60s. That time is chronicled in a new book by Terry Baker Mulligan called Sugar Hill, When the Sun Rose Over Harlem. Welcome to Valerie's New York, Terry. Thank you. It is such an interesting uh, observation that you have put in the book about your experience as a young girl living, being raised in Harlem with all these amazing characters. Your dad himself was quite the fellow, wasn't he? My dad was quite the guy. He was uh, he was actually drop-dead gorgeous. I mean, I look back at his pictures as a younger man before I was actually born. He was also from an interracial marriage, and they were one of these couples that all their children looked white. So at the time, I didn't know whether he was black or white. Um, he was a ladies' man. Uh, I went to a friend's store once, and she had a little boy who looked exactly like me. I didn't dare ask. I just found out about 10 years ago I have a sister. Actually, I have two sisters. I was surprised it was not a brother. He was a cotton club dancer. Um, he was uh, a spendthrift, um, but he was a, you know, he had a good heart. <laughs> he died young mm-hmm. from a fast life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he exposed me to some very, very interesting things. He took me to Saks and Best's, the Fifth Avenue stores. Uh, we went to Philadelphia on a club car. Now, we were not rich people. You have to understand that. Um, we were uh, working class, if, if, if that. Um, we managed to live on Sugar Hill because my grandmother had rumors in the house. And, um, but I had a lot of really unique experiences. And it prompted you to, you, you've been out of New York for a while now, but it prompted you, living in St. Louis, to write this book. This is your first book, to write about your experiences. Tell me why you were so compelled to do that, Terry. Well, people in the rest of the country don't understand Harlem to this day, and they really didn't understand it when Harlem was kind of not doing its best. I went to St. Louis, and people said, you couldn't possibly be from Harlem. You're too nice. It's full of drugs and crime. Well, I, it, it, it infuriated me because it didn't matter if they were black, white, rich, or poor. That was their attitude. So I vowed to write this book to sec- set the record straight. Because Harlem is full of character and culture and architecture, uh, colonial history, uh, great institutions, uh, wonderful uh, stories. The music industry was for, uh, formative there. Uh, the, the religious history, all the black evangelists, uh, the Catholic church history, and the beauty of the community up there on the bluff. It's like this a magical place in New York that's so star for light and, um, and space. And we had this wonderful view out to the east that was totally open. So, yes, I wanted to set the str- record straight, and I think I've done that in this book. And the book, of course, is Sugar Hill. You, you live in St. Louis now. What do you miss most about New York City? I am so happy that New York has kind of gotten its groove back. I miss living here. I, uh, it's just such a, a vibrant, exciting place. I get back so often now that I'm re-establishing old friendships. I've met so many new people. My son is here. I've been having a lot of wonderful book events. This is an awesome opportunity this morning. I just, I just love it here. And um, we're actually thinking of some ways that, you know, maybe we could, I don't think my husband would move back full time, but some ways that maybe we could uh, manage to just have a little bit of a presence here. A little pied-a-terre somewhere in Harlem, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. So you, growing up, 50s and 60s, Terry, your dad, amazing character, who else did you come across in your young life? Well, uh, at that time, Harlem was the center of black America, and the entertainers, um, the, the uh, uh, intellectuals, uh, the sports figures, pretty much um, were centered here, um, many of them were, and they had to live in Harlem, and many of them lived around us. About and the ha- stories all fall between the pages of Sugar Hill, available on Amazon and Terry Baker Mulligan.com. Very interesting book, Terry. Thank you so much for coming to Valerie's New York. 
Thank you. I'm Valerie Smaldone.